the next topic is on electricity. Okay, now before I even start, please, uh, electricity is actually a topic for you to score. It's really for you to get your full marks, all right? Because electricity, the type of questions that they can test for electricity is most of the time, it's the same old question. If you're exposed to a lot of electricity questions, you will realize that the way to answer or the way to explain this is all very similar. Okay, so those who are with me for a while already, you will know that in the topic of electricity, there's, I always explain using four steps. All right, the four steps are basically written on the top left-hand corner for you right now. Okay, you can see it right there. Step one is always the situation, means what, will you do? what, what, what is happening? Is the switch closed or am I pressing the button? Okay, so what's the situation, all right, based on the question? Step two, always, always tell me, does it cause an open or closed circuit? Step three, does, if it's an open circuit, does it prevent electricity from flowing through? If it's a closed circuit, will it allow electricity to flow through? And step four is basically your outcome. So what happens? Will it become an electromagnet? All right, will the buzzer sound, will the alarm ring, will the bulb light up? Okay, so this is very, very straightforward. If you diligently follow these four steps. If you don't, I don't know how your teacher will mark. Okay, I really don't know. She might just minus marks if you don't have any of these steps. So, okay, this one I will ask y'all to explain, okay, to answer the question, huh? So let's look at number six, okay? Number six, this is the box are always arranged like that in your houses, okay? Wherever you are, the box are usually arranged in this manner, okay? So you can see that every box is, there's one box inside each room, right? Your living room, your kitchen, your bedroom, your bathroom, okay? And they said that the box are of the same brightness, okay? So based on this book, Maybe these bulbs are all the same, okay? Because they give out the same brightness. And they ask you, based on this circuit shown, right? Describe one advantage of this arrangement of bulbs. Have they mentioned how the bulbs are arranged? They have not, you know. So what is an advantage of this arrangement of bulbs? Okay, uh, Elliot? When one bulb fuses, all the other bulbs can still light up. Again, describe the arrange, the advantage of this arrangement of bulbs. So it's always safer for you to identify how the bulbs are arranged first because it's not mentioned there. What? Okay, so can you add when, that in earlier? When the bulbs are arranged in parallel, yes. if one bulb fuses, the other bulbs can still remain lit. Okay, so I'm sure that's a standard answer, right? Y'all will always say when for a parallel circuit, right? When one bulb fuses, the others will remain lit. But if ever they ask you to explain, Elliot, did you use the steps? So based on whatever you just said, right? You told me step one and you jumped straight to step four. What if I asked you to explain it? How would you do it? So when one bulb fuses, step two is there will still be a what? Be a close circuit uh -huh. with the other bulbs, Correct. allowing electricity to flow through them, causing them to light up. Yeah, causing them to mm. remain lit basically. They will still remain uh, lit. Okay, very good. So in this case, to play safe, I will naturally write the four steps already. Okay, I will say first, identify how they are arranged. Okay, clearly these bulbs are arranged in parallel. And then, and advantage right and an advantage for a parallel circuit is always when what the safest one to write is when one bulb fuses okay when one bulb fuses there's good there will still be a closed circuit with the other bulbs so step three is electricity will still flow through the other bulbs and the other bulbs will remain lit 